And welcome to the next video in this series of implementation guides for advanced work assignment. Today we'll be focusing in on context-based routing. Now, the context referred to here is actually the context of a conversation that takes place prior to a chat being routed to a live agent. To build the solution out, these are the steps that are required, and we'll be showing these in the video. First, we create a pre-chat survey, then we set up agent support groups, and then we go ahead into advanced work assignment and set up the service channel and queues as required. And lastly, I'll be showcasing how to actually test this routing. By the end of this video, you should have a working solution that uses context to route chats to the appropriate agent using advanced work assignment. So let's get into it. So the first step in this process is to first build a context variable, which is a variable that holds the information that given by the user that we then use to as criteria to determine which queue to put that work into. To do so, we first go to the navigation bar and search for conversational interfaces. We then click on home. From the conversational interfaces homepage, we click on chat settings at the top. From the general settings tab, we scroll down and see a section called conversation routing. What we want to do is create a context variable. So click on view all. From this page, we then go and click new as you want to define a new context variable to use. In here, all we need to do is set a name. So for this instance, I'm going to set it to be pre-chat routing variable. And you can see here, the variable name automatically gets set. And then all we need to do is save that record. We do not need to fill in any of the other um, fields. You can now click Save, and our new context variable has been set. Please remember the name of your pre-chat routing variable, as this will be important later on in the video. Next up, we will go ahead and create the pre-chat survey. This survey is displayed to users on the virtual agent form, prior to being routed to a live agent. So we can ask them a question as to what their request involves. To do so, we return to our homepage and go to Survey Designer. From the Survey Designer, I'm going to set the name to be Pre-Chat Survey. Click on the Configuration tab at the top scroll down and tick yes on the chat survey option. We then want to save these details. So click on save in the top right corner and then return back to the design tab. Now, in this use case, we just want to ask the user if their request relates to IT or HR. So we're going to give them a choice. So drag and drop the choice option, click on the cog, and enter pre-chat routing question. And then we enter what our question is here. What does your request relate to? This will be mandatory. And then we set the context to our context variable, which was pre-chat routing variable. Scroll down, and you can see we've got the choice options here. So choice one, we're going to put down IT. For choice two, HR. And then within our organization, we only have these two options. So I'm going to get rid of this, the final choice. From there, we can close the properties and then save and publish the survey. Now that our survey has been created, we want to add it into the virtual agent. So what we do is return home 
and then go back to the conversational interfaces. Home. And then again, go into chat settings. Now from the general tab, scroll down and you'll see underneath the conversational routing header, pre-chat surveys. So let's click on view all. And then we want to define a new chat survey. So we click on new. Down here, we enter the details. So let's say pre-chat routing survey. We do not want to show a summary. This is up to you. Um, what it does if selected is that it presents, once the user answers the question, it presents a little summary asking if this is correct. However, in our use case, if a user selects IT or HR, they probably don't need a summary. This is not a very complex um, question. From there, what we need to do is set our survey to be our pre-chat survey. It's identified down there. And then we go ahead and save. At this stage, we want to go ahead and set up our agent support groups that are to be handling the incoming requests. To do so, we return home and we go to user administration and to the group section. From here, we want to create a new group. One is named IT chat support group. Now this it can be any group. You may already have these groups existing today. But one thing that you need to note is if your agents are going to be using agent chat um, or acting as live agents on ServiceNow, they need the following two roles. The first is AWA underscore agent. And the second is a role required to use the workspace, which is agent underscore workspace underscore user. So please ensure that all your agents have these two roles um, in order to be able to use this functionality. So let's save that. And then go ahead and add a group member. In this case, we are going to add able tutor. And now we have our IT chat support group. What I'm doing now is I'm going to go ahead and set up the HR chat support group. And I'll be doing exactly the same um, it set up as I did for the IT chat group. Instead of able tutor, I'm going to add in Beth Anglin. Now what we have created is two support groups that will be monitoring the incoming chats for each of these areas with two different support agents. The next step in this process is to set up advanced work assignment itself. Now the first step is to actually go ahead and set up the service channels. So what we want to do is type in advanced work assignment and click on service channels. Now these two options come out of the box and what we want to do is click into it and we can see the chat service channel should look like this where it's based on the interaction table. The type is chat and ensure that it is active. This is the most important thing. If you are just going with an out of the box configuration, it may have been set to inactive. So please verify that it looks like this. And then your capacity utilization that is up to your organizational needs. And then we can see that the chat service channel is set up ready to go. The next step in this process is to actually go ahead and create the queues. So let's go ahead and set up the IT support queue. So we're going to go ahead and create a new record. Name that IT support. Set the service channel to chat. 
And then under the condition mode, what we're going to do is set the condition mode to simple and then for the work item routing condition. This is where we actually define the criteria, which means work gets entered into this queue. So in this situation, what we want to do is set use that context variable that we set using that pre-chat survey and ensure that when the user answers IT, that it gets routed into this queue. So how do we go about that? What we want to do is in the first field, scroll down to show related fields, click on that, and then again open up the options. Type context and then go to the context, interaction context fields. From there, what we need to do is scroll down until we see our context variable. We see it here, pre-chat routing variable. So we select that, change the operator to is, and then have the value be it. Submit that, and your queue is created. But it's not over yet. We need to go back into this queue, scroll down, and define assignment eligibility. So this is how thing like who should be managing the work that enters this queue, and how we're going to assign it to people within that group itself. So what we're going to do is quickly populate the agent assignment rule with one I already created. We'll look to see what exists what that record looks like in a second, along with setting our group to be the IT chat support group that we created earlier. So let's submit that. Now, we have assignment eligibility set up, and let's look into the agent assignment rule just briefly to show you what it looks like. So when work enters the queue, it's going to be routed to the IT chat support group that we just defined. And then within that group, what we're going to do is assign it by whoever has the most capacity. We're going to allow agents within that group to reject incoming work, but not reassign chat items at once the time limit has been set. We also do not have skills enabled, um, so we will not be enabling skills there. So with this step, we've actually configured everything we need to be able to do context-based routing. So let's test it out. Now what I have is two other browsers open. One where I'm logged in as Beth Anglin, and I've set her status to be available already. On the left side of the screen, we're going to have Able Tutor, our IT support guru, who is also set to available within the agent workspace. So with that, I'm going to go in as myself and submit an HR request. To do so, I'm going to navigate to the service portal and set up a new conversation. We can see that our pre-chat survey has, is displaying, and what we're going to do is say I have an IT-related issue. Now this value here gets saved within our context variable, and then what I'm going to do Let's actually go ahead and look for live agent support. Now they're going to say this to the user, but if we open up our two agents who are currently working, nothing in Beth's queue. Let's check Able. There it is. We see the chat has come to Able Tutor because he's an IT guru, and we said that our request relates to IT. So let's go ahead and accept that. We can see now that the chat has been routed to Able, and he's able to resolve the request because it relates to IT, and he's a IT guru. Now, these chat pre-chat surveys can get a lot more complex than just a simple choice list, and it's up to you how you want to use the context variables with um, to help route it. Um, this is just only a very simple basic use case. Um, as a note, also, um, now what we would generally advise in terms of the best user experience for this context-based routing 
is to actually have the pre-chat survey ask after they s- ask for live agent support to help route it. Um, this is just the best in terms of user experience is they'll ask for a live agent and then you can do the routing bait um, from there. To summarize, you're able to really play with this functionality to however your organization needs. Um, there's a lot of possibilities here and I hope this video helped. Have a good rest of your day.